Hey y'all, welcome back to Chaz's Lifestyle. Today I'm going to show you how I create these beautiful Buddha bowls, okay? They are filled with so many nutrients and protein and it's just so healthy and refreshing. So let's go ahead and get started making these quick and easy meals. Stay tuned. First, I will be starting with the jerk salmon Buddha bowl. So for my seasonings on my salmon, I will be using some keto-based all-purpose seasoning by Flavor Gods, as well as a little bit of jerk seasoning and green seasoning. I am adding a touch of avocado oil. So I will give that a quick mix and I will be using some coho salmon. I eventually will be cutting them in half. I was able to have at least two servings each. Okay, so this is the seasonings that I am using. So I'm taking a little bit of that jerk seasoning and I will be spreading this all around the coho salmon. You might have a little leftover, that's fine. So I will be marinating that for 10 minutes. Here I am starting my Caribbean beans from my rice and beans. I have some sofrito, green seasoning, and a little bit of vegan butter. I'm gonna give that a quick toss. Once that is melted, add in your beans. Mix that up, let it boil, then bring it to a low simmer and cover it. Season it to your liking. I will have all my ingredients listed down below. So this is just some of the keto-based all-purpose seasoning. I will be adding in a touch of water just to make sure it's not sticking and to create a slight sauce. So next I'm adding the coho salmon to some foils because I am air frying it. I love air fried salmon. It just, oh, it tastes so good. It's similar to like seared salmon, but it's easier and less work. Okay. So I'm going to start by placing these two in my air fryer and I will be air frying these for about 10 to 12 minutes, but you can air fry them to your liking on 400. Okay. So next while that is air frying, I'm going to make my mango salsa. I have mango, fresh jalapenos tomato skin i also have cilantro green onion i will be adding in a pinch of salt and pepper personal preference i'm adding in a little bit of white onion and some fresh lemon juice after i season that up i will give that a quick toss cover that in refrigerated Okay, my salmon is looking great. It's juicy and flavorful. Go ahead and add those other two pieces. Next, I'm adding in some fresh steamed cauliflower rice to my bean mixture, and we're just gonna give that a quick toss. And that's pretty much it. Make sure you season to your liking. So this is basically what I usually eat as well when I am on a weight loss journey, okay? So, you know, if I'm not though, <laughs> I will be adding in some butter and some more seasoning, but we're just gonna season to our taste and add in vegan butter, all right? So I'm just plating this up, showing y'all how I plate this. Full of fresh vegetables, okay? And we're gonna add that juicy salmon on top to give it more flavor. Oh, oh, don't forget about that mango jalapeno salsa. Oh, so beautiful. Add some lime juice, lemon juice, whatever you like. This is awesome, I love this. It was so easy to make. It's literally a 15 minute meal. So the next meal we're gonna get into, the salmon is juicy, flavorful. So here I have my oven preheated on 400 and I'm taking this beautiful big salmon and putting it on top of my vegan butter, also some avocado oil. I will be using this keto friendly, the everything spicy seasoning. I also will be touching it up with some lemon and garlic. I'm just seasoning it up, adding in some paprika for color, a little bit of black pepper. I will be taking my little brush and brushing the rest of those seasonings on the side. I will be drizzling a little bit of avocado oil to produce a slight sauce. Next, we're gonna bake that for about 20 minutes. 
I'll get my asparagus ready. I will be roasting all of my vegetables. We're going to keep this easy and simple, you guys. Okay, 20-minute meal. All right, so I have my asparagus. I put a little bit of olive oil on top, a couple seasonings. I will have everything listed below. And more olive oil. We're just going to mix that up very well. I am using avocado oil. I also use grapeseed oil. And when I don't mind using it, I will use olive oil. Okay, so same thing for the zucchini. And I'm just going to throw on, literally throw on all of my vegetables on top, get, like, make sure everything's flat. We're just going to bake these for about 10 to 12 minutes. Make sure you bake them to your liking. I like mine with a slight bite to it. And look how they came out so perfect, healthy, and delicious. Oh my gosh, I love those keto-friendly seasonings. I'm making a cauliflower lime rice, so I added a little bit of vegan butter, I seasoned it with a pinch of salt and pepper, and I went in with a fresh squeezed lime juice and give that a quick mix. So here I'm just plating my food, letting y'all know it did create about two servings, um, but for the purposes of the video, I put everything in one bowl. I'm adding in a little bit of avocado just to help fill us up, fresh cilantro and fresh limes for more flavor. We have the blackened salmon. Okay, so I'm using the couscous. I'm just following the bad directions just to fill us up a little bit. Okay, that's ready. So. I'm pat drying my salmon because we will be searing it. Okay, so you wanna get a nice pretty sear. So here I'm just seasoning skin side, of course. I will be leaving my skin on for uh, more health benefits, okay? It's very good for you. I will be seasoning both sides very well and just patting it in lightly, okay? I have my preheated pan preheated on a medium heat. Okay, turn it up to a medium high heat, add that avocado oil. Then we're gonna sear our salmon on both sides for about four to five minutes each side. So to create the blackening, I will be adding in some vegan butter and the avocado oil is going to help. Look at that, perfect sear on the skin side. Be adding in that butter, like I said, to create that blackening effect and to give it more flavor. So once the butter melts, just let it sit in the pan for that last one minute of cooking and look, voila and perfect. Add a little squeeze of lemon juice if you'd like. A little pico de gallo. I have some um, tomato. I have purple onion. I have cilantro and scallions. You're going to give a squeeze of lime juice or lemon juice. You can add salt and pepper to your liking. Now for, for this particular Buddha bowl, I will be using some freshly washed arugula. The flavor is outstanding. So next I'm adding in my couscous and then I will be going in with the pickle de gallo. Add on that blackening salmon. You can add the sauce from the pan or you can create a butter sauce. Avocado and some lime, we're good to go, okay? This is it. 15 to 20 minute meals, you guys. Look at this. Perfect, healthy, we're still eating good and everything is still delicious. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. If you decide to recreate this recipe, be sure to tag me on Instagram at Chaz's Cuisine Story.